Throughout history, food has been used by the wealthy and the powerful to amuse, seduce and impress. British royalty was no exception. Enormous banquets were held for their influential acquaintances. The cup of tea, the chocolate, the spices in our tikka masala were all once for the wealthy and for the royals. We had a food culture of gastronomy that was the envy of Europe at one point. The way that food is interwoven with our culture and evolution, there's nothing else like it. When Henry VIII was here at Hampton Court Palace, what did he eat? And how did the palace cope with the hundreds of servants and courtiers who were here? In week two, we go to the Tower of London with Elizabeth I, where she was imprisoned as a young princess. What did she and other high status prisoners eat? And how did that compare to the food eaten outside? In week three, you'll return to Hampton Court Palace and you'll learn how George I used chocolate to showcase kingship, power and wealth. In week four, we're moving on to George III. He's known as the Mad King, but he spent many happy times here in Kew Palace with his wife, Queen Charlotte, and his children. Finally, join us in week five for Victoria's 17th birthday ball here at Kensington Palace. So this free online course is a study in history, in culture, it's a study in deliciousness, it's, it's creative and an understanding a little bit on how we viewed our digestive system. Together with my colleagues from the University of Reading and curators from historic royal palaces, we'll be taking you on a fascinating journey into the history of food and monarchy.